Oh god. Hello and good day everybody, my name is Fitz and welcome back to another Oculus Rift demo. This time it's Faceted VR, uh, a game that's currently on Kickstarter and tries to get some money together to build this game. What is this game? It's a flight sim combined with VR and Sonic, pretty much. So you have to fly through rings to, um, yeah, collect points and advance in the game and high score, blah, 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 I don't really know. Um, but I'm really, yeah, curious how this will go, because when you combine the speed of Sonic with VR and the motion sickness, I'm gonna puke on this video. Maybe, maybe not, I hope not. So let's dive in here. Um, the first good thing that you notice when you're in here, that it's really smooth. Um, that may be because the graphics are kinda, well, simplistic, but I think they're pretty. Um, the menu is well done for VR. The, the option menu just snaps like in the direction, you don't have a real cursor. And uh, when I looked at the option menu when I was preparing for the video, um, I got kind of reminded of uh, uh, Star Fox with different control schemes. I mean, sure, different games have that, but I don't know why. Maybe it's just spaceship control schemes for your controller that just, yeah, tell Star Fox to me. So, no more babbling, let me actually start this game. And look at this little, yeah, mission, uh, whatever, like mission control room where you can select the map you want to go into. And seriously, like this is a menu that's really well made for VR. Like it's, you understand that like immediately what, what you're supposed to look at and what you can change and what you can do. And you can see what the map looks like in 3D with a flying ship. Whee! So ring attack and it crashed again. God. <laughs> I'm seriously talking too much, I just should just start the game and not crash then. Maybe it crashed because I speak too horribly. <sighs> okay, once more, here we go. Hopefully this time it doesn't crash, yep, that it sets. Fly through as many rings as you can before the time runs out. Don't crash, yeah, thanks for that. Uh, something that's really cool is like when you look down in your cockpit, you can see uh, the current uh, control scheme once more, in case you forget it. And I always forget everything once the menu is gone. <laughs> so uh, press, I guess that's an I to launch. There we go. Ah, oh, I was hoping to be launched from like uh, like a speeding tunnel, like in Battlestar Galactica. But that's okay too. So you see, okay. <laughs> this guy looks funny with this uh, uh, art style. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's one of thirty, and I have one minute. Oh god. Okay, I. Um... You can imagine what I'm saying now, what, I, what I'm trying to say is that this is actually really problematic in terms of VR sickness, because holy shit, my stomach already reacts heavily to what I'm experiencing here. Um, it's not bad bad, but the way that you're like circling around that much, I mean, okay, that's my bad flying, but still, that's not for everybody. Let's see how long I can stomach this. I even want to try uh, both of the um, maps that are available. I think it's just two. This one and uh, some canyon style. So uh, where do we even see where the next thing is? I think I missed a lot. And the music is fine. And yeah, the controls, um, you have some kind of uh, inertia. So when you let go... What? What? Already? Ah. So yeah, while I choose the next map, um, what I was saying, uh, the controls are when you let go of the uh, speed, you still like drift a bit and you don't really like uh, have very direct control. It feels very in indirect, but, which makes sense in space, not really in, uh, uh, yeah, in an atmosphere like this. So uh, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Whoa, this, this looks interesting. Oh, is it a bot? Uh, no, okay. I guess it will be really fun in, in multiplayer uh, to check out. Compete with your friends. Uh, oh god. I mean, the game forces you to- oh shit. Forces you to, to spin around like a madman. Maybe not, maybe my stupidness forces me, that's also an option. 
Write down in the comments below how much I am forced to do stupid things. Uh, no, just kidding. Oh, fuck, 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 don't crash. Oh, shit. I should really stop spinning so much. But other than that, I mean, the demo is simplistic, yes, but it feels solid for... Even though it's... Damn it. Simplistic. I shouldn't talk while flying. Okay, one, one more time and then I'm gonna end this. Because I'm really feeling funny right now. Something that really helps the game is the fact that the performance is really great. I'm running on a, a 780 GDX overclocked, uh, so it's not quite the newest model anymore. And still, this is quite good. I'm really hoping uh, that there will be less performance issues in the future with, with VR games. I don't. I'm really curious how it will be when you actually have two uh, full HD screens in front of your face um, how well current generation graphics card can even handle that and with current i mean the yeah 970 980 like the popular ones that are bought when somebody upgrades today but this time i'm not flying as stupid but still stupid <laughs> uh what's next oh there how much time do i have uh 50 seconds and i fucked it up again the way you, you move, you have your like normal thruster and then the left trigger triggers the boost. And I just can't handle it. Uh, I'm mostly pressing them both at the same time. And I just can't get the hang of it. I don't know. I'm really not made for these kinds of games. And it crashed! <laughs> it's like the fourth, fifth time. Um, it may not be the game. I'm still on the old SDK, on the uh, po uh, 0 0.5 something. Um, so it's... Um, I guess the fall is on my end and uh, not on the game's one. So, I hope you enjoyed this little demo of this uh, Sonic-like VR um, racer type, ring racer, whatever. Um, if you did, leave a like and subscribe to the channel to see more like this. And if you're interested in the game, I always almost forgot, um, go to the Kickstarter page and throw money at them so they can actually make a full game out of this to be ready when you hold your... Uh, CV1 of the Oculus or the HTC Vive in your hands in the end of this year or beginning of next. We'll see. So, thanks again for watching. See you next time. Bye bye and auf Wiedersehen.